Rodney Goudin. How you doing, Your Honor? Good evening, sir. I, uh, uh, well, what do you want to say? No, I just want to explain my circumstances. Sure. I, uh, I just got up the ACI last year, uh, did 10 years, and uh, I got my license, and I was, <clears throat> this camera got me twice. The first one I paid because I said maybe I was wrong, you know, don't want to, you know, turn my life around. I'm a recovering addict. I live in a sober house. Uh, I did about 27 years in prison since I was 19. And uh, it's tough. I'm trying to get a job. Nobody wants to give me a job because I'm an ex-felon. So I keep getting papers saying uh, due, due, to the, due to the fact that you were incarcerated, we, we regret to inform you that we can't hire you at this time. So I'm trying to get a job. I can't get a job. I'm trying to turn. I want to stand up there with a cardboard thing and say, can I get a job? You know what I mean? Instead of begging for money, you know? I want a job. I want to work. What do you uh, do? Excuse me? What kind of work like do you do? Like bullwork, like warehouse and stuff, you know? You know, whatever they need me to do. My father was a roofer for 40 years of Warwick. Really? Yeah, he died. They both, both my parents died when I was in jail. I thumbed out here when I was 15, went to jail when I was 19, got out when I was 30, went back when I was 31, got out when I was 38. Then I just did 10 more years, and I just got out last year, but I'm trying to turn it around. I've had a few relapses, but I just keep getting up. I go to counsel at Bridgemark, outpatient counsel, and I start this week, which I went on my own, and I go to counsel. And, <clears throat> but uh, They give you a chance to go to the funeral when you were in prison? Yeah, they brought me in shackles. I couldn't go to my mother's because I'm from Attleboro originally. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, I, if I was wrong, I'd, I'd like to see the video myself. I tried to do you. it online. It wouldn't do it. It wouldn't play. All right. Carol, bring it up, please. This is Westminster Remand. You probably made a right-hand turn. The light is red. Blinker on, all right. That's good. And that's you making a right-hand turn. Got the blinker on. <laughs> and that's that same corner everybody else has been getting. <laughs> all right. Well, they should do something for people getting out of jail. Those state, all right, all for right. jobs. Uh, yeah, all right. <clears throat> I thought you were going to talk about the red no, light. I'm just saying that. I agree with you 100 percent. I agree with you 100 percent that people who come in, who are being discharged from prison uh, should be given an opportunity to prove themselves. OK, yeah. so all I can do is I'm going to give you a break on the light. I'm not going to charge you on this. I appreciate space. it. Thank you. I don't want to do anything that's going to make you desperate. No, I just want you to back, get, get a little to bit you. of my understanding where I'm coming from. That's all. You know, Trust so, me, I understand. Right. And uh, it's only 80 bucks. I didn't have to tell you all that. Let me tell you what I what I know. OK. That if you don't have three cents in your pocket, $80 is like a million dollars. You know, so you can't. Some, some people say, well, it's only 20 bucks. I remember when I was a kid, $20 was like 20,000 to me right. because I had no money, you know. Well, so so, if I get a job, I'm going to need gas money to go back and forth to work. So I'm, I'm worried about that. Yeah. I'm worried about paying my car insurance. I'm worried about giving Superior Court $20 every two months. I don't even got a job, you know. How much, uh, how much longer are you going to be in the sober house? Um, I've, I've only been there since last year, so maybe another year. Really? Yeah. Go to meetings with all the guys. I'm really rooting for you. I appreciate you know, it. Thank you, you. You present very well. You know, you did your time. Yeah. Well, my mission is to help other addicts. Go to the streets and talk to people. I, I, I picked a girl up that was a heroin addict, and I let her watch a video about addiction. She started crying, and I said, you know, you can get help, you know, so I'd like to do that, try to help other people. Yeah. Well, the first thing you better do is help yourself. Right, right. You know, and it looks like you're trying to do that. I, I am. Okay, I just want you to know that we're rooting for you Thank down you. here, okay? Yep. And I'm, we're going to do what we can't to help you. I'm going to dismiss this right. case. Thank you. Okay. Good luck to you. All right. Thank you. Have a good, good night. Luck. Jay Cross. Good morning. Okay. You're charged with a parking violation on Carter Street. Allegedly, you were obstructing traffic. What do you want to tell me about this? Well, um, I was at a home visit, and a lot of my day is spent looking for parking places to visit um, at-risk families who are pregnant or have um, infants. Oh. And oh, I. Oh, you're just a person I'm looking for. So you see. Well, yeah, I can suggest now, Francesca. The ones, that, the ones that are having boys, right? You know, yes. they get stuck. They don't know what or the name is. Francesca, they, would that work also? Yeah, it's, it's not Francisco. It's Francesco, C E S C O. Okay. All right. I'll give it to you again. F R A N C E S C O. It's very, Got it. very melodious, right? Francesco. Right? It's beautiful. Right? It's going to be the new name, I'm telling you. It's going to be the name of the future. <laughs> okay. 
So is there a picture of my car by any chance? Actually, it's a good question because if they're charging you with obstructing traffic, they should give me a picture. There's nothing here, Inspector Oh, it's a handwritten by a police officer, Judge. I can tell by the ticket in her hand. Yeah. <coughs> the only way we do that is we have the officer come in and testify. Mm -hmm. What do you yeah. want to tell me about it? Um, well, cars got around my car for an hour and a half, so. Were you double parked? Where were you parked? No, I was parked at the side of the road. And I looked really carefully for any signs that said no parking. Um, the thing that impresses me is she has no, this is her first ticket. And the city hasn't given me a, a, a photo, even though it was an officer who, who was not a parking enforcement officer. So the question, so is, the question is whether I'm going to bring the police officer in and bring you back and have you spend all morning here and get the police officer off the beat, have the city pay him, I don't know, whatever they're going to pay him. I'd so like to I'm, meet him, actually. You do? Yes. I, I feel like this was kind of random, and uh, I was shocked because— You want to come back and have a trial? No, I don't. Well, that's the way you're going to meet him. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. I mean, I, I wrote D-I-S-M, and I was ready to write I-S-S -S on this, and you said I want to meet him, and I was going to cross well, that off. feel free to see, write it. Because you interrupted me. Sorry. Now, th there's another woman that interrupts me quite a bit. It's called my wife. So if I want to get aggravated, I'll go home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean that. I don't mean that literally. Sense of the word. <laughs> I don't mean that literally because I. <laughs> she's a wonderful person. She don't aggravate me. All right, matters dismissed. The city didn't prove enough evidence to convict you. Um, is it okay if I say one more thing about the um, excessive? It's an. It's a lot. A uh, seventy-five dollars for people in that area. That could be their entire food budget for the week. If I feel concerned. If, if you are obstructing traffic and there's a rescue squad that can't get by, and it, it costs somebody their life or for, or for some other reason, so we're balancing the equities here. The answer to your question is that they shouldn't be parking obstructing traffic because it has its consequences. But, um, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Come on. How cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court and Providence is also a TV show. Oh, wow. Your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtandprovidence.com, click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.